B2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Yes. All right. Okay. All right, so in the previous class, we st uh, stopped upon a particular uh, example wherein uh, with the help of your super class reference, you basically call the, uh, let's say you have your climb, uh, okay. So with the help of your super class reference, you basically call your print behavior. And for your cheetah, it goes to your, uh, okay. So during runtime, let me even come, comment this out. So during one time, one time, what happens? Your okay. During runtime, your cheetah is actually uh, your cheetah's print uh, print behavior is going to get invoked because your cheetah is overriding your print behavior method. Okay. So we saw that is, uh, yesterday in in, in yesterday's class. So we are good enough here. Okay. Now uh, let's say. Uh, as we know that uh, if I on on cheetah okay on this cheetah I want to invoke C H E E T A dot climb tree. All right. So we could not do that because C L I M B climb tree because uh, there was a question yesterday why we are not able to do it. Uh, reason. Okay, the reason uh, because in your super class you do not have the client tree method. All right, very plain and simple because if you are uh, trying to use a reference of your super class, you can only invoke the methods which are present in the super class. Okay, so you can only invoke the methods which are present in the super class, and depending on whether your subclasses have inherited those me methods or not, sorry, have overridden those methods or not, depending on that your print behavior is going to be called accordingly. Okay, so for Bengal Tiger, I know that uh, Bengal Tiger, Tiger has not implemented the uh, print behavior method. So for that reason, it is going to go and invoke your cat's print behavior method. All right, so very simple, which we discussed yesterday. Now, uh, the concern is I, I uh, somehow I have the reference of your uh, cat class, okay? But uh, I know that I have already created an instance of your cheetah, correct? And I know in cheetah, there is a method known as climb tree, okay? So that is what I have it in, in your cheetah class. Now, my objective is how do I still invoke my climb tree method? All right. So in this case, what am I going to do is I cannot, I know that if I say cheetah.climb tree, I cannot even invoke that, okay? Even though it is public here, I cannot even invoke that. Now here, uh, what am I going to do is, I am going to cast this particular reference back to Cheetah, all right? So what am I going to do is, I have the reference, so let's say I am using the reference right now, okay? So this reference which I have created here, let me cast it to saying that this particular reference is of type, okay, e even though I say cheetah or let's say uh, cat cheetah, okay, so let me say this is a cat cheetah. I know that this is of type cheetah, all right, so what I can do, even put this in here and just say dot Okay, wait a minute. So let me take this. Uh, let me over, take out all these things for now. 
and uh, let me use this cheetah okay cheetah dot climb go to the cheetah cheetah class copy this climb tree okay so what do i do here i basically will typecast the to a uh, cheetah okay and put everything to a okay now what did i do here i typecasted i casted this particular reference cat to cheetah because i know that this is of type cheetah all right now let's see let me run this particular example right click run as java application okay so right now i'm able to invoke the climb tree method of my cheetah class why because first what i did is i have uh, casted this particular reference which was of type cat to cheetah first and then on that particular reference i have called the climb tree method okay so this is how you basically can cast your reference to the specific class on which class you have got the climb tree method okay so for now let me even comment this out and come back to the copy and paste the same example here okay so what did i do here i casted the uh, cat reference to the cheetah reference okay or to the cheetah okay cheetah class now let's see what am i going to do here uh, what i even have got uh, one more method here that is your uh, bengal tiger right so let me copy this bengal tiger and what am i doing is i still have the cat reference this is your cat why do you need to cast child class to the base class when we extend the base the child class do not inherit all the methods from the base class all right so uh, my main objective of telling why do i need to cast it because i have the super class reference here and i know that from the super class reference let's say if i copy this and uh, paste it here dot climb tree i do not i will not be able to access the climb tree method at all okay but still i know that i have created uh, the Uh, the object for cheetah and i am very much viable to call i have all the rights to call the uh, behavior of your cheetah because cheetah has a, pr a climb tree method in it okay so what do i do for that reason i am casting this reference first to cheetah okay so i copy this and on that particular casting after i casted that to a cheetah and then i can invoke the climb tree method okay if you do not cast you cannot even invoke the climb tree method here all right now can you hear me i can hear you yes yeah so if i if i am extending from the cat mm -hmm. and if i have if i create an uh, instance of the cheetah object mm -hmm. then i don't have to um basically do what you are doing right no you don't have to do that so what is the purpose of us um, creating a cat reference or mm -hmm. the ca cat ref or the cat object type mm -hmm. uh, and then referencing it okay at at yeah. times what happens when you talk about polymorphism here right so here what happens uh, when you talk about polymorphism we have already seen this behavior right when you talk about uh, chi ch cat cheetah and you talk about uh, print uh, print behavior so depending on the runtime itself it understands whether i need to call the cheetah class print method or uh, the uh, cat class print method so this is all about polymorphism here okay but still if you you already have the reference of your cheetah right and you want to still invoke the methods of your which one your cat class climb tree all right even uh, what happens usually why this is being used basically when we talk about in advanced java okay everything will be in the form of an object okay so there will be a kind of a container from where you will only get object so it is your responsibility to cast 
that particular object to a particular type okay now even i can say here let's say i can even say object okay i can even say object here right i can very well say here i have no restriction in saying object bengal tiger equals to new tiger because in the previous section we already saw that object is the super class of each and every class right now still i have the object here i want to still invoke my bengal tiger dot print behavior method how do i do that i have to uh, i have to cast this particular reference to a particular class on which i want to invoke that particular method okay so for that reason i have to say cheetah okay yeah, it was a good question uh, but at this point of time uh, just understand the concept because down the line when we will uh, really see about objects you will get everything in the form of object okay so the object in the sense this is the one the same object so it is your responsibility to cast that object to a particular type okay so let us cast to a particular type here now if i want to uh, invoke the bengal tiger dot print behavior i cannot do that what should i do here copy this tiger and cast this first and on that invoke here all right invoke your print behavior the same thing goes for the cheetah also copy this and on this i invoke the print behavior all right so what are we doing here we are basically type casting a particular reference to a particular class because this is in generic this is in generic an object okay or or if I, if i say here as cat i don't need to do this casting here basically right because i know that your bengal tiger uh, can invoke the print behavior as such okay so in specific you if you want to cast to a particular class type you can still do it okay now what now here i know that uh, the cat cheetah has got a climb tree method so i am very good here right click run as uh, java application i am i am able to invoke my climb tree method now what happens if i copy this and paste it here okay let me comment this out copy this comment this out push it here okay now let me copy the bengal tiger and just uh, watch out here the bengal tiger is of type tiger here right and i am trying to cast this tiger to cheetah okay so if i copy this tiger ref i mean the cat reference which is of type tiger so bengal tiger is of type tiger but i am casting that particular reference to of type cheetah okay which is a two different hierarchy altogether all right these are all two different hierarchy altogether all right why it is two hierarchy different hierarchy because no one is extending any one both are extending one single class i have no doubt on this but still let's see what's going to happen here right now so if i right click run as java application you get a class cast exception why because your bengal tiger okay all right okay so your bengal tiger oh, you did you miss out listed as class rajesh uh okay i would request you to please go through that because again explaining that uh, will take uh, i have to explain the entire stuff to you in order to tell you what is a uh, overriding and, uh, and and those things i think uh, this will again kill up the time here okay all right okay okay fine then all right so here uh, uh right there won't be any errors during compile time because if you see here what are you doing here you are casting a particular reference now here i know that your uh, bengal tiger right is what type of cast i mean it is of type reference of cat right now cat can be a uh, cat reference can be type cast or or casted to a particular cheetah okay here i am not casting this tiger right 
So what if I say tiger and if I copy this and put it here, right? During this, you get a compile time error. Okay, because you know that this is my tiger and I'm th that tiger reference I'm casting to a cheetah, which is nowhere related to each other. Okay, but here if I use cat here, okay, it will not understand during compile time. These things will throw only du during your runtime itself. Okay, so if I run this, if you see, I get a class cast exception. That means it says your uh, tiger cannot be casted to your cheetah. Okay, it's just that uh, that animal are uh, too confusing as a reference. Okay, all right. Uh, why there is no error at compile time? Okay, so that I have already explained. So, okay, let me let me take up one more example and uh, really quickly cover this up. All right, so new. Uh, new package so I created a package class cast exception uh, right click new class okay and uh, let's say um, uh, Okay, let's say here, uh, let me take two objects, okay? Both the object will try to extend a single class here. So let's say uh, we'll take a, a living uh, living animal and we'll take a non-living animal here, okay? So uh, talking about living, uh, let's say it's a thing, P-H-I-N-G, right? Um, okay, uh, living object and non-living object. So let, let us talk about object here, object, uh, class so I have taken an object class uh, and this object class okay uh, let's say living and non living uh, they both have got a particular state right so everybody has got a state so let's say string state right so whether it is a living object or a non living object so I will right click run uh, create a new class here I'm going to say here uh, what a fish okay so fish is a living object so he is going to again object class so finish all right so as a result what's going to happen uh, let's say your object class has uh, is going to print a particular method let's say uh, public void print state right and here, the moment you create an object, you say whether it is a living or non-living uh, non uh, object. Okay, so I just create a constructor here, and in this constructor, I'll just say string state, and you basically say here this dot state equals to state, and sys out, you basically say here I am. So take this here, go to your, uh, let's say, new uh, class. I'll take this as a computer. And uh, again, the same thing, I'll just extend it to an object class. And I'll just have a constructor here. Uh, okay, let me remove this and click on this. You give me some suggestions. Click on this constructor. Okay. And apart from that, uh, let me even ha have a particular method. So I created a fish also. In this fish also, I'll just say add constructor. And I'm good here. Uh, so fish, let's say, uh, is going to have its own behavior. So let's say public uh, void swimming and then I'll be having a computer I'll just say public void uh, let's say I'm going to say here company which company 
Okay, so it is from which company? Uh, computer, right? So I'm just going to say here. Uh, let's say I'm going to create a computer. So even let me not even think about this right now. Okay, so I just got a method here as company. I've got a method here as uh, swimming here, right? So if I create a new class, just in in case of a client class. So I'm just going to create a client class here. So uh, class cast client. I'm going to have a main method here and then what am I going to do is I'm going to say here uh, uh, object class uh, this is your computer equals to new object sorry new uh, this is your new computer right so what you have in this state you're just going to say here as uh, non leaving take the same thing here uh, take it as a fish and make it as leaving All right now what is your objective here uh, okay so here it is your fish okay right? so what is your objective here you are supposed to say here fish dot uh, state or uh, let's say what do you have there fish dot swimming right so fish dot s w i m m i n g okay now this is not possible here in this case why because we are using your object class reference okay so for that reason what am i going to do is instead of having a fish i can have a fish here no doubt on top of that first i will cast that particular reference to a particular type okay close this in a brackets and on that i'll just say dot swimming okay now right click run as java application everything is fine if i add anything in the swimming i'll just say this is out i am a swimmer so if i run the same example again right click run as uh, java application i am a swimmer here now uh the question was uh, why it is not happening uh, i mean why if i use a computer here right so i will use a computer copy this and paste it here right now during run time during compile time it, it doesn't understand what to do here right because you are using an object class this is also the same reference right so this is the name is different but it is of type object class the same thing goes here it is of it is computer no doubt the name is computer i can even say the name as fish also okay but by uh, by convention you say it is a uh, computer itself right so this is of type object class itself and here you are basically using your uh, let's say let me even change the name here so to make it as more specific object uh, class 1 okay so i'm just saying object class 1 and this is your object class 2 object class 2 right now first you are using your object class 2 so i'm good here because if i am able to run i am able to run this because this is of type uh, fish and the same reference i am actually casting back to the appropriate in specific i am pinpointing that okay this is of type fish if i copy this paste it here right click run as java application i will basically get a class cast exception okay because your uh, reference which is of type computer is no related to a fish okay you cannot cast one object to another object if they are not at all dependent or they are not at all in a particular hierarchy okay is it clear to everyone so did that uh, uh, clarify your doubts rajesh Uh, what you, what is happening over here is like let's say a um, uh, car car is a uh, car is generic object mm -hmm. and we can create a uh, say Honda car mm -hmm. and then say another is a uh, Toyota mm -hmm. right so you can cast uh, a, a variable car a variable uh, as you can create a Honda car from car, uh, and cast it as car mm -hmm. you can create a Toyota car and cast it as car but you cannot create 
a Toyota car and cash it as Honda car. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's that's what it is basically. The same okay. thing, same example I'm given here, but it's more specific example. I'm taking a living, uh, a living organism and a non-living organism here. Okay, right. so it is more easy to understand things. You cannot cast with, uh, on the same level of class. It's not same. I mean, if at all uh, there is no relationship between those two classes, you cannot even cast right. it. Yeah. Okay. Even though they are, uh, uh, I mean, extending your same class, still you cannot do it. All right. Okay. So this is all about your class uh, casting here. Okay. So this was actually a small topic which I missed out yesterday. All right. So the next topic which we are going to see. Uh, all right. So let me even cover up one more topic here, and then we'll uh, go to a brand new topic here. Okay. All right. So. Uh, let's say in your computer, sorry, in your object class, you have got something like final method, okay? So here, if any of the method which is final, okay, if you go back to your, let's say, computer, right? So what I can do, I can copy this. We have already spoken about overridden, right? Now, if I overwrite, I cannot basically override a final method at all. Okay. You cannot even override a final method, but what if I, uh, okay. So very plain and simple, if it is a final, and if you talk about a final variable, if you are, uh, let's say, uh, final int equals to 10, you cannot reinitialize it anywhere, right? So if you say here int, uh, sorry, int i equals to 10, and you cannot say i equals to 90 anymore because your i is final. I mean, you cannot do any changes on that. All right. So this is all about final here. So this we cannot do it at all. So let me comment this out saying that final methods cannot be overridden. All right. So this is uh, my object class. This is my Is previous uh, in previous example uh, when I run cat, its output is the same result as hunter client. Why? Uh, you can uh, ping me the classes. Uh, we can have a discussion, uh, Keith. Okay, just send me those classes as well. And uh, if you have done any modifications, we'll see that later. Okay. Uh, yeah, if, uh, folks, I mean, if you have any questions uh, after the class, please shoot out an email to me with uh, with some uh, problems because the same thing if we discuss uh, uh, the previous class session, what happens basically I spend up uh, five minutes or 10 minutes on that. So I would request you if you have any doubts, please shoot out an email so that uh, we can discuss or I can at least have some buffer time to discuss on that. Okay, thank you. All right. So. I'm closing all these things. Uh, let us start a new topic here, class. So the new topic is uh, garbage collection. Okay. So what is garbage collection? Uh, in Java, as we know, as in the previous uh, classes or in the very beginning of the class, I have told that uh, Java basically uh, it, ha it it handles your memory management very nicely. Okay, now let's see what it is basically. Okay, so I created a class. I should not create a class. I'm going to create a package here. New uh, package dot garbage collection. Clear this out. Everything is clear. Close this. All right. So this is my garbage collection. Where is my garbage? Okay, this is the one. So let me uh, just for uh, sake of creating a uh, please check in. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to create a class, any class. Uh, let's say garbage collection example. Garbage collection. I'm going to create it. Uh, let's say just going to create a class here okay so in this garbage collection class uh, uh, let me even before that create one more class here new class uh, i want to create an object let's say person object okay 
So I've just created a person object here and this person object has got a string name and a string uh, occupation and whatnot okay and it has got a constructor also and everything is uh, just a class okay we are not going to use any of these properties here i just created a class here okay now in in my garbage collection uh, class what am i going to do is uh, i'm just going to have a main method here and the main method i'm just going to basically say here um, what it is i'll just say uh, person p1 equals to new person okay so as a result the moment i run this uh, if i right click run as java application what happens an object gets created somehow it i'm not printing anything that's fine but usually what happens uh, if i show you this uh, heap memory somewhere in your heap one object gets created here right so this is my one person object during runtime itself okay one once it is run everything is lost uh, because you know the moment you run it your virtual machine uh, gets triggered and uh, it creates a memory and in that memory basically all the object gets created here okay so uh, let's see what am I going to do here is I'm going to ultimately uh, use a for loop here for int i equals to 0 i less than 5 I plus plus okay so what am I going to do I'm just going to say even though it doesn't matter if here in this case if I say new person also obviously one object is going to get created here because I do not want any reference I'm just creating a object here so when I do it in this way what happens okay let me even comment this out how many times this is going to loop it is going to loop five times so that many times you are objects are getting going to get created so if I see here if I run this program virtually I cannot see anything right click run as uh, Java application I cannot see anything here uh, because you are not doing anything but still we'll do something here so what am I going to do go to your person okay uh, I'm going to have a static uh, variable here so let's say uh, static int uh, object creation counter okay so this I will initialize it with uh, let's say one okay in your person object the, the number of times you create a person object basically what are you going to do you're just going to say object creation counter plus one okay or let's say object creation counter plus plus okay now if I if I run the same application at the end of the class if I say sys out and I just say person dot object creation counter this we already know that if it is a static uh, variable it is basically class uh, class level variable wherein I don't have to create an instance of that particular class I can directly access those static variables or methods. So if I run this example right now, right click run as Java application, what happens? I get a value of six here. Okay, let me do it in this way. Let me make this as zero. Okay, so if I run this, right click run as Java application, your five object got created because we know that whenever an object gets created, the constructor gets invoked here all the time. Okay, without even invoking the constructor, you cannot even create an object here. All right. Uh, now, when I create this object, let me even, uh, let's say person, right? So H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, Resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com.